Walt Grayson is back to wrap up our work week with another story for us. This time, Walt, you have a reminder about an important day coming up. Hmm, what hmm. day is that? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think. Has a V in it, an intimate <laughs> Allentine's. <laughs> there are three days, way I see it, in the life of a married man that he had better not forget. One, his wife's birthday. Second, their anniversary. And even ahead of Christmas, because you're not going to forget that. Anyway, do not forget Valentine's Day. That's coming up next Friday. Cards and flowers and sweet sentiments are expected for Valentine's Day. But somewhere along the way, chocolate worked itself into the mix until it now has a preeminent position to the point where Nandy's Candy and Jackson places Valentine's Day right up there with Christmas in a way. This is the busiest volume in the shortest amount of time. So as I say, Christmas is the marathon, this is the sprint. That's Emmy King. Emmy's mother, Nancy, started Nandy's Candy back in 1980. And it's more than a candy store. They make their own creations back in the back, kind of like a small-scale Willy Wonka's without the weirdness, but with the chocolate waterfall and the machines. But it's also kind of like Santa's workshop right now before Valentine's, too. Yes. I mean, we are trying to get all of our shelves stocked. Right now, I'm looking at these, and I'm thinking, we need some more. I know I'm going to be here late night in the next few days doing some nut clusters, and we'll be running more centers. Nandy's Candy has become a Jackson institution over the years, but that really wasn't what Nancy, Emmy's mom, had in mind when she opened the place. Me going back to school and my sister going back to school, she loved chocolate. She learned it um, in high school at Kegs in Houston, Texas. And she said, I want to do something I love. So she started it. Well, Emmy has kept Nandy's secret ingredient, the one that set them apart as a candy store and manufacturer from the beginning, the thing you really have to have to evolve into an icon, and mandatory at Valentine's especially. For me, it's love that you love a product. The business itself, like selling and being with people and being able to create something every day. Um, I love to get in here and do our formulas. Um, it's something tangible that you connect to people, you connect with what you're selling. But Nandy's Candy's love of the product is also that intangible ingredient that leaves such a sweet aftertaste long after we finish their chocolate. Now, one change that any instituted when she took over, I think she said about three or four years ago, Nandy's Candy is now online. So it's not just the store up in Maywood Mart, but you can buy it all over the world, really, anywhere you get to the Internet. All right. Wow. <laughs> Makes no. it convenient, right? Those young ones, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, sit at my house and order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better order soon, though, right? Yes, yeah. indeed. There and the, especially the chocolate strawberries. Right. They, you do have to. They're specially done. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Walt.